time perfectly. That's excellent. stand. <laughs> Please stand. Who blesses the marriage of Emma and Matthew? We do. We do. All right. Let's pray. God, creator of all things good, we thank you for the lives before us, wanting to commit their hearts as one before you, their family, and their friends. We ask you that you bless them today and forevermore. Amen. <laughs> you may be seated. <laughs> You're here. <laughs> We're here. I'm so excited to be with you to celebrate your special day of commitment to each other and the love that you five have with each other. Um, is, a, is worth celebrating. Today, you're completing the commitment you've already made to each other and to your boys, and that's something worth celebrating. You're worth celebrating. Family and friends, thank you for coming today to make them, this couple and this family, a priority. This relationship was love at first sight. Well, at least for Matt. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as he saw blue hair, he knew he was interested. <laughs> For Emma, it took a little bit longer, but then grew to want to spend more and more time with Matthew, being able to see deeper into his kind heart. You're both creative people. Matt, you're a troubleshooter and a fixer. You can listen to the sound of a vehicle or raise a hood and know what the problem is. Then if something in the normal process goes awry, you can change directions and repair it a different way. The first time you saw my car, 
was when I was inside your home <laughs> at an angle from the window, <laughs> seeing a part of my tail light. <laughs> you said, oh, do you have about a 2014 Prius? Um, and he added some numbers and letters that I don't even know if I have. <laughs> you know your craft. <laughs> Emma, you're a dancer, a decorator, and a problem solver. And I've witnessed this in your beautiful home. And I've watched your creativity with the boys and how they play, with what they will play. They trust you. They know that their best interest is at the heart of what you're doing. And the, be the ability to be creative, which you both are, is one of the highest strengths in a marriage. You've done a good bit of this in your relationship already. You've worked at what roles you want to have, what fits your interests and gifts in your relationship. When you get stuck, you've been able to figure things out, talk things through, compromise and caring for the other person and creative thinking are all a part of working things out. A scripture passage that's been meaningful to you are the words of commitment of Ruth to her mother-in-law, Naomi, <clears throat> following the death of both of their husbands. Famine and unrest in their home in Bethlehem pushed them to Moab, for it was now safe, but it was now safe for Ruth to return home. And Naomi began asking, then telling Ruth to leave and return home for her, on, for, and for her best interest. But Ruth said, do not urge me to leave you or turn back from following you. For you, where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God, my God. Ruth pledged her love and commitment to Naomi, which was a sacrificial decision. And while the relationship between a man and a woman is different, <clears throat> you, Matt and Emma, are pledging your commitment and love to each other, which is also a sacrificial decision. You're committing to say yes and to stay when things are easy, light, and fun. But you're also saying yes to commit to stay when things become heavy and hard, even very hard, and at times they will. Another scripture that Emma and Matt found meaningful is from Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. For pity, but pity anyone who fall, falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Even, excuse me, though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Now in our society, we often hear, I can do it myself. I don't need anyone. I'm gonna do things my way. People want to live far away from others and great value is placed on not depending on anyone for help. While those sentiments aren't all bad, the writer of Ecclesiastes, wise and an older King Solomon, made it clear that to him, two are better than one. He gives a picture of two people supporting one another, filling in the gaps <clears throat> that the other one might have even keeping another warm. Then Solomon mentions a cord of three strands. Two are better and stronger, but the scriptures tell us a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. And Matt and Emma are two, and the third strand is God. You share an understanding of the importance of God in your marriage even if you're on different spaces along, and places on that, on, along that journey. Now there will be many competitors for that third slot. Jobs that demand more than one person should give, families who may attempt to pull you away from your spouse, feelings of inadequacy or haughtiness, 
in yourself that can put up a wall between you, friends who don't find value in your partner, even someone of the opposite gender who might try to spend more and more time with you attempting to put a wedge in your marriage. Now, I'd like the two of you to look out at the people here supporting you. These family, keep looking. <laughs> That's right. They're looking at you. You may as well look at them. <laughs> These family members and friends love you. They support you too as a couple. Weddings are easy. I mean, they're a lot of work and they're expensive and take a lot of time, but that's the easy part. Marriages are hard. And if you get to the point where you two are struggling and you feel like throwing in the towel, picture these faces. Call some of them, gather them, talk with them. They love you and are pulling for you. And just as you'd go to a mechanic if your car messed up, don't be afraid to go to a counselor or a confidant if your marriage feels broken. And love is a verb. You will not feel love and lovingly towards the other person all the time. It's then that you might do something lovingly towards the other. In that act, your feelings can return and remember to get God back as your third strand, pray and worship together. So marriage can be hard, but marriage is also fun and warm and loving and wonderful. A marriage with God as the third strand can stand. Emma and Matt are gonna demonstrate that now as an important reminder for them in the future. All right. I'm he said it's over here. <laughs> How about if I hold it and y'all okay. braid? I can I probably just do better if I just braid it. Do, oh, I, I can braid it. <laughs> oh, he holds it and I braid it. Okay. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> You didn't uh, practice your braiding before today. <laughs> I don't have hair anymore. Oh, right there. Oh. My bad. This is new to me. That's right. You're good. This is not my area. <laughs> I got all boys. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's nice. Do you see what I put on it when you're holding? The little keychain things? Look. Oh, they're trees. No, oh, look. Oh, it's your ring. Yeah, hold it. That's cool. Oh, look. that is cool. First engagement ring. Oh, that I love that. Out. How sweet. That's, That's so crazy. sweet. Isn't that mm -hmm. <laughs> We've got time. You, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Braiding class. <laughs> you're not teaching so well. You're not saying anything. <laughs> okay. That's good. That's good. You want to tie it in? Yeah. yeah. I know. About and now they want to have hand fasting. Hand fasting, which is an ancient, ancient <laughs> Celtic tradition. Maybe even as old as 10,000 years old. And hand fasting, we're going to use the cord of three to wrap around their hands as an outward sign of their love and commitment. They're literally tying the knot in front of us. It seals their bond to one another. And may it never be broken. All right, put your right hands together. I'm going to do And now they're going to share their vows with each other. First to Emma. I, Emma, take you, Matthew. I, Emma, take you, Matthew. 
To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold this day to this from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. And in sickness or health. In sickness and health. Before God, our family, and our friends. Before God, our family, and our friends. I promise to honor you. I promise to honor you. Cherish you. Cherish you. Encourage you. Encourage you. Forgive you. Forgive you. And love you unconditionally. And love you unconditionally. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And now Matt. I, Matthew, take you, Emma. I, Matthew, take you, Emma. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or worse. For better or for worse. In sickness or in health. In sickness or in health. Before God, our family, and our friends. Before God, our family, and our friends. I promise to honor you. I promise to honor you. Cherish you. Cherish you. Encourage you. Encourage you. Forgive you. Forgive you. And love you unconditionally. And love you unconditionally. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. All right. And just <laughs> slip your hands out. Okay. All right. And I'll do that better. <laughs> now, Elijah, we need something from you. May I have them first? Thank you. Very nice, thank you. And you may go back with Gigi and Grandpa. A wedding ring is a fitting symbol to remind us of the vows you have just taken. Its value is not inerrant in its makeup. Like every other commodity, precious metals are precious only because of the value we give them. But these rings symbolize a deeper reality, a preciousness with which God values each of us. Their unending line reminds us of God's un unending love for us, and they will remind you of your steadfast love for each other and God's pr steadfast presence with you in your marriage. With this understanding, and as a reminder of the vows you have just made, you may place a ring on each other's finger. First, Emma. Yeah, that. <laughs> Matthew, I give you this ring. Matthew, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. All right, Matt. <laughs> That's fine. Emma, I give you this ring. Emma, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. There. Very nice. Olivia is now going to read a Celtic poem. Happy is the bride that rain falls on. May your mornings bring joy and your evenings bring peace. May your troubles grow few as your blessings increase. May the saddest day of your future be no worse than the happiest day of your past. May your hands forever be clasped in friendship. May your hearts join forever in love. Your lives are very special. God has touched you in many ways. May his blessings rest upon you and fill all your coming days. We hold at peace and love to stand, heart to heart and hand to hand. Hark, O Spirit, and hear us now, confirming this our sacred vow. And while the commitment Emma and Matt have made today as husband and wife, this is only the, the part of the commitment they have made to each other. They've surrounded these three boys, Elijah, Riley, and Lachlan with love and are as deeply com committed to them as they are to each other. They're a wonderful, lively family. And they'll symbolize that bond with each person putting their hands in paint and, and uh, adding leaves to the tree over here, their family tree. And I'm going to move over. <laughs> Let's see, there's, your stuff is over here. What, 
color do you want first, Emma? It doesn't matter. Oh, they're cool. Let's do this one. Okay. Who wants, who's going to do this? Who's first? You want it, you two be first? Yeah, we'll go first. I think that's smart. Oh, yeah. You want do you I'd be glad to do that. Mm, that looks like some kind of lock on diaper. <laughs> mm. That's normal. <laughs> Gotta put enough on there so that it's straight from the source. All right. I know. Okay. All right. Um, you're different colors, right? Yes. We're all okay. Different. And you have just one of these? Yes. Okay. Does it matter what color? No. I'm just going to go here, I guess. It's lovely. You want me to put more on? Yeah. Okay. Is this color good yeah, for you? We'll put yeah. it on a little thicker. That's it, that's it. Almost. Yeah, it does. Whatever you do, don't touch her dress. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I probably didn't have to say that, did I? All right. That's cool. Beautiful. Oh, let me give you a white. Thank you. All right. Elijah, you want to come next? Yes. Okay. That's good. Roll up your sleeve a little bit. That's good. Remember, don't touch anything except for the painting. All right. All right. Okay, find a good place Press for it. it. Take it away. Don't smush it. Perfect. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm going to give that to you. All right. All right, Riley. You want to come up? You want to pull your sleeve up just a little bit? Okay, perfect. Perfect. Just don't, just remember not to touch anything but the painting, okay? I think Lachlan's ready. Can you move? Huh? Yeah, here's your thumb. All right, you want to spread your fingers apart a little bit. There you go. Good job, Riley. Yeah, excellent. Here's okay. Is this one? That one's oh, that's perfect for him. Good job, Riley. Mm. All right, Lachlan. <laughs> this gets fun. Don't touch Gigi's dress. <laughs> oh, let's get close. Maybe we should do that. <laughs> he might have a fist. You want to open up your sweet hand? You want a fist bump? Oh. Do you want it? Look, Lachlan. He's looking at Yeah, he's looking at Daddy. <laughs> All right. Well, that's Here we go. I know. Let's just, you just hold his hand. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you'll need. Ready? Do you want help? Open your hand, Lila. <gasps> Here, I'll, I'll sacrifice. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yay! Okay, come up. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Let's get one for her. Uh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, he's got it all over his now. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Brave Gigi. <laughs> I'll get it all off later. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. I believe the same color. Do y'all see this? You see their family tree? <laughs> One of Emma's friends painted that, the tree for her, and now y'all have completed it. Maybe. <laughs> family, like branches on a tree, will all grow in different directions. 
but your roots are going to be right there in your home. All right, you've done it. By the authority committed to me as a minister of the Church of the Brethren, I declare Matthew and Emma husband and wife. You may now kiss your husband. <laughs> That's your dress. One more. We do yeah. one more in the middle. Right? Yeah, that's right. Hold on one second. Let me give you a blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft on your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. I'd like to introduce to you, let's give uh, Emma her flowers. Mr. and Mrs. Matthew David and Emma Lee Hawkins Stout. and bridal party are going to be taking some pictures so the rest of you may go to the oh excuse me oh went in one second excuse me excuse me All right, now you're welcome to go to go to the fancy cabin that's the Taubman building. Um, it, you passed it coming in. Uh, that's where the reception will be and you can have cocktails and, and appetizers until the party gets here. Party gets there. <laughs> Thank you.